everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to learn you how to make this car garage. To build the car shop you first start with the blueprints. You first start with your two square frames and you connect for two more after them. Then you surround your base fully with triangle foundations. Except for these two. Now you have this, this blueprint. In the left corner you put two more triangles, so you get one big triangle. This is the blueprint you are going to use. Now for the walls. Here you are going to put two frames. Like this. Here is the place where your garage is going to be. You can now get your doorways and you can place your doorways like this. Don't forget um, to place the hard side to the good side. So important is that you place this one hard side to the inside and this one as well. Now you can also place the rear door and the hard side goes to the outside. Now the rest you can wall off with walls. Now I've placed all the balls and we are going to your TC. In this place your TC can, in, can go in three different places. You can place a TC here, you can place a TC here or a little bit riskier one here. You can choose yourself where the TC goes. I will place it this time here. Now the TC you can get a window and you can place a window frame and you can place it like here. Now we're going to get four triangles and make a roof on top of your base. The next thing you're going to do is you get some carriage doors. You need two of them and you can place them with the roll bar to the outside. You can open them or close them, I don't mind. You can also place here well, with the hard side to the outside and you can get four doors, just normal metal doors. One you can place with the door going to the inside, the other one you can also go with a door to the inside, your other door can go to the outside and this door as well can go in the inside. For the last door frame you are going to place a vending machine. You can place it right here. This vending machine is not a weakness in your base because it takes 10 satchels to, to destroy the frame and it takes 15 satchels to destroy the vending machine. So it's not a weakness. Now for this section we are done. Now Let's go further on the carriage. For the next carriage, you place all ball frames on each triangle side. Now, first we are going to place the, the two car modules. You need to make sure to set the control panel to the outside. So the control panel just sticks in the square. You can place also in exactly the middle of the square. So the first one is this and the second one goes like this. As you can see they are placed really well right now. Now you can get some ball frames and you can put them in the middle of them. The next thing you are going to do is you are going to place a battery. You can use two batteries for this setup. You can use a large battery or a medium battery. You can place the battery in one of the triangle squares. I choose for this one and you can place it as much as possible to the wall and in a corner. There you go. This is perfect. Now you can get some solar panels. You can get four solar panels so you have enough power. Your solar panels can go on a roof. Solar panels you can place 
towards the middle of the map as you can see I'm here you need to place it there so just marker it line up with your cursor and then place your four solar panels to connect these four solar panels we need to combine them to combine them you have root combiners for solar for four solar panels you need you need three root combiners the root combiners you place just in a little row like this then you get a wire tool and you can connect them all up i will do one the rest you can do in the same order you take the electrical output you set it to a corner that's not the same corner as as your battery then you go into the corner and you go around and you're going to connect them now you can do the rest as well just follow the same line otherwise it gets maybe a little bit messy and you don't want it now you have two root combiners that lights li are lighting up you connect the output of those oh, to, to the root put power 1 and root power 2 that's free now you can take the power out now you can do the two you can do two things i like to see how much power goes into the battery because it's just fun to watch so i put a counter here uh, so i can always see how much power goes in there you can connect the power out of the root combiner to the power in of your counter and you can select the counter to show pass through as you can see you see one now you can get the pass through and you connect this to the power in of your battery as you can see the sun is now delivering 68 power and as you can see your large rechargeable battery is charging you get five electrical branches you are going to place them on the wall now you get your output your power output of the large battery and you're going to set them in a power in and you're going to use your power out of the electrical branch to the next power in of your electrical branch be aware not to branch out we need that so you connect them all and as you can see they all light up so the first two electrical branches go are going to your car lift you need to configure the branch the amount of branch off to five so each because each car lift consumes five power so you get your branch out and this one goes to your first car lift and the second one goes also to your car lift now as you can see your car lift is now working unfortunately i could not uh, let you see the next part of the video because of a really big bug in rust because of the new updates it's bugged and i can't show you but i'm going to show you next week in a new video how to make automatic doors that closes and opens automatically thank you all so much for watching this video hope you all you like this video and i'll see you in the next one bye